Okay, let's see what we can do. We have a duffel bag. Ooh, what is this? Augmenting? It's a bottle. Removes pain and intoxication. A complex, versatile antibiotic used to treat bacterial infections. Uh, apparently I've seen it before. I've examined it before, but I've never used it. Alright, so I've got something to... Ooh, I can heal? I can stop bleeding and I can remove pain. Okay. I haven't spawned a scav yet that uh, can remove pain without picking up something. Alright, so first things first, this warehouse over here. Sometimes has some neato stuff. As a scav, I don't have to worry about NPC scavs attacking you. Oh, there's somebody right outside. I don't know if that's an NPC scav or a player. Or, I think it's a player. It's a player, but I think they're a scav. Well... That is, uh... Yeah, he's a scav. I'll take his gun. Well, I attacked a scav, so that's gonna make things a little bit more tough on me. He's definitely a player, because he was looting, and he's got a pouch slot. Even though scabs don't start with a pouch. But, um... I'll take his sunglasses. But, you know. I didn't need him looting up all the good stuff, right? Nothing in there. Okay. I gotta be really careful. I can't really walk around here freely anymore. NPC scabs will now attack me, I think. These mods tend to sell pretty well. So I pick them up, I sell them restock my uh, rubles. Ooh. Something big. Alright. Well, our bag is already filling up pretty fast. Now we gotta get out of here, because this is a scav camp. It's a lumber... The, the, the lumber yard is, uh, is scav controlled. Let's skip that truck. I'm not 100% certain, but I think the only thing that can spawn there is a box of bullets. Again, not 100% on that. Also, I squeezed off a, a round in there. Some gunfire. And that tends to attract players, so... Don't want to deal with that. When I'm armed with only a pistol. Alright. Morphine, yes. Very good. This little outpost tends to be pretty good for medical supplies. Not in this box. This box doesn't usually have medical supplies. But it does have stuff that I want to sell and keep. I need to uh, discard that in favor of this. We've got two more mods, and my inventory is now full. But this crate at this outpost tends to have meds, like this uh, this car med kit. Now, how can I... Okay, I don't really need this many... I don't need this many spare magazines for my pistol. So I'll load up that med kit... And we'll put it on five. There you go. I think just in case we need it, I'd rather sell it. I really could just get to extraction now. And I really should just get to extraction now. Because my, in my inventory is full now. You know what? We're not going to waste any more time. We're not going to spend any more time standing around. The only thing I can really do now is swap out like a 2,000 ruble selling item for like a 2,500 selling item. Or a 2,500 ruble selling item. You know, it's kind of min-max, and that takes a little bit of time just standing around, so I don't really want to do that. So, we're going to skip the next two loot spots, because I don't need to fill up my inventory anymore. I just got to get out and make my profit. That's what scav runs are for. You want to go taking down players, you roll your PMC, you roll your private military contractor, your main character. There's another loot point right there by that rock. Right there. But we are going to skip it. There's two boxes there you can loot. Uh, sometimes ammo, sometimes just weapon attachments and stuff. Like the stuff we've been seeing. Uh, I don't know if anything better can possibly spawn at that location or not. 
but I, I do loot that spot fairly frequently. There's another spot along the way, along this wall, but we're going to have to pass some big rocks before we see it. It's an underground bunker. We will skip it. Sometimes it's got some good stuff, I would imagine. But yeah, we'll be skipping it. We are getting some frame hitching here. See, here are the rocks. And there is the uh, underground storage. You can just go down there. If you have a flashlight on your pistol, you can do that. I did not mean to reload. Uh, I'm going to lose a magazine for that. Whatever. There's a scab right there. I have to worry because uh, I am hostile. Or scabs, scabs are probably going to be hostile toward me. Because I was hostile toward one of them, so I should really just take this guy out. Maybe he's got a big bag I can loot or something. Let's get this shot lined up. And... What? Uh, I think that was a player who had disconnected or something. Is that a player scav? Let's see. Ooh, yes. Oh, he's got a good rig, too. And a big backpack. Alright, we have to loot this quick. Okay. I want to drop the stuff I'm carrying in here. Like that. I'll drop one of these bandages so I can make room for this. Alright, then I'll discard my rig, equip this one, and re hotkey the med kits because we have to do that. There we go. Search his backpack. I have to transfer all this stuff into his backpack now. And he had something cool. Transfer, transfer. Can I just control click? I cannot. Okay, this is taking more time than I would like to take. But we did that, and we can now... Actually, well, what am I doing? Actually, I can just do this. Yeah, load up everything that I can fit here. Like this. And I can drop my duffel bag into this backpack. And then take this one. There we go. Alright, now I've got everything I had, because I got the duffel bag loaded up. Let me check my ammunition in my pistol. 18, we've got another magazine here. We're going to move this here so that I can quickly reload the mag if I need to. Okay, now we've got to be careful. Wait, I didn't check if that was a player. I'll have to check the recording. I'm not going to go back and check if the, that scab had a loot slot. Or, sorry, a pouch slot. Alright, so we've actually... This is a really good run if we can get out of here. I'm going to walk to refill my stamina, and then we're going to make a sprint for extraction, which is right behind this scav cabin. Now, players like to camp this spot. Sometimes scavs might attack you from that cabin if they're hostile toward you. But uh, that's the risk you take. Also want to check behind me. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Extraction's right here. It's right here. In we go. And then this bush is a pretty good spot to hide. Alright, so we should be able to get out. And we're good. That is a... That is quite a successful scav run. Took less than ten minutes. And now we transfer everything over. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video out of this one, but if I do, hope you folks enjoyed this. Thanks a lot for watching. And I will see you folks next time.